Hi everyone, Sarah here. We're gonna be talking about advice today and why you don't like advice. Why I don't like advice, why people don't like advice. And it's interesting because through sharing so much about healing from the emotional wounds and experiences that you've had from abuse and neglect in the past, that is a phrase that's often shared is, thanks for the advice. But we don't like advice. <laughs> there are many, many reasons unconsciously and consciously that point to why we don't like advice. Because there's a, a certain kind of energy behind receiving advice or believing that you need advice. And that energy is not one that any of us want to feel because it's deeply connected to what we've felt and what we've experienced because of what we've been through in the past. Those things that are still there, those things that still come to the top and rise to the surface that we feel and we experience and our body goes, oh, no, I don't like that. Thanks. You can... So in this space, oftentimes many people think that that's what they need more of or what they're looking for, but having experienced this and, and hearing others say this, thanks for the advice, I'm like, no, that is not what you wanted. <laughs> and that's not going to give you what you need. And that's not really what you're aligned with receiving because in the advice space, we're connected to rejection. Because in this state, it's saying, I know better than you, I know more than you, and I know what you should do. And we have so many experiences in the past of saying, well, this is what you should do. And our body saying, mm, thanks, I would if I could, but I can't, I'm stuck here, so thanks for the advice, it's useless, it's, it's helpless, I still am left here with my problem and no solution. And that's part of the cycle we get stuck in, is looking outside of ourselves for that, because that's part of what's going on internally, is we feel disconnected or blocked from receiving what we truly and actually need that is going to either break through whatever our problem is that's going to propel us and help us move forward or that's going to just create some space for inner clarity so I remember not even asking for advice but being in the position of telling my story when I was in the relationship with the narcissist because people would ask how are you doing how, how are things going? And you're like, <laughs> well, uh, you really want to know? Like, are, are you really going to listen? Or are you just kind of asking that question and you want me to answer with, oh, yeah, things are good. That way we can just move on and talk about you. So you can almost feel the energy of, do you really just want to talk about yourself? Or are you just asking this question? How are things going? Because everyone asks that question and it's just what people do. Or do you really want to know? And with those that you feel safe enough, to open up with, you will, or you'll at least begin to. But then there's often a disconnection in the conversation where people hear and feel your pain and they get really uncomfortable with it because it triggers their pain. And so they jump in with advice that sounds good and looks good and tell you you should do this and then it feels like you're being shit all over with the shoulds. So it's there's a part of you that is on the receiving end of the advice. It's like, thanks, but I wasn't done. Thanks, but I can't do that because. Thanks, but you didn't even let me finish. So now you're telling me what I should do to better and change and improve my life. You don't really know it. You didn't, you cut me off. You cut this short. And now I feel down here and you fill up here. So I'm done. And internally, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, energetically, you shut down when you hear that someone's going down the road of giving you advice. Because what's happening is that your internal system, your internal mind is going, thanks. That's great. Yeah. You know what? You're not in my shoes and you're not in my position. And if you were, I guarantee you, you wouldn't be able to take that advice. Because if you were, <laughs> you wouldn't be stuck where I am. And here I am. So thanks. So listening to advice is often the same energy as, wow, you think I'm really stupid. You think I can't figure this out on my own. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Shut the... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're really annoying. I wish you would just stop talking right now, but you're not. And me being the nice person that I am, I'm just going to sit here and go to La La Land. And I'm just going to think about other things until I hear that you're done. And then we can change the subject. I remember receiving the advice of, you know, you just need to break up with them. Oh my God, do you see yourself? You're so pretty, Sarah. What is wrong with you? Why are you putting up with someone? They did, he did what? Are you serious? And you're still with him? You could go out and get any guy that you wanted. Seriously. Like, you've got so much going for you. Why don't you just leave? And in the midst of a narcissistic relationship, 
You don't think you've thought of that? You don't think you've thought, why can't I just leave? What's wrong with me? Why does this feel this way? You're already thinking that. You're already experiencing that and, and how incredible it would be and, and how liberating it, it would be and what it would feel like. And yet you can't. There's something else, something deeper going on within you that's saying, you can't do that. You can't just do that. Are you kidding? And then you chase these rabbits down these dark holes of what would happen if this happened? Then what would happen if that happened? And then what would that mean? And oh my God, what would I do if this happened? And it's like this catastrophe all around you. And it feels like it's there with you. And someone's trying to give you nice advice and say, oh no, everything would just, everything would magically get better. If you just did this, just follow my advice here. Here's a little, you want me to write it down for you? All you have to do is this. Step one, leave. Step two, live a better life. And you're thinking, it's not that easy. And you're thinking, trust me, I've tried. Thank you for the advice, but I've already tried it for myself and it's already failed. So I already feel worse. And now I feel like you're telling me it should be so easy and simple and it's clearly not. Or maybe I missed something and something is wrong with me because I've already tried that. Thanks. But you're not doing that because you're a nice person and you're like, oh, thank you so much. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. And, and then you're feeling small. You're feeling stupid. You're feeling insignificant. You're still feeling powerless and helpless because you're still stuck with the problem and they're not stuck in the problem. And so you feel disconnected. You feel misunderstood. You feel like they don't really get you because if they did, they wouldn't be telling you to do something that you've already tried or that you don't think that you could do or that you need more in order to be able to do. So it just feels so disempowering to receive advice. And often the word advice is triggering, but that's what people go on the search and this quest for is advice. What should I do? What should I do? Tell me what I should do. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. But there's there's more going on internally. It's not that easy. And that's why people who, when you're in the midst of a narcissistic relationship, you know and you feel and you believe and you experience, it's not that easy. Especially when your inner mind has become connected to this high, like this high that you experience and receive every time you go back or every time your mind has a perception of something changing and getting better and going another direction and thinking, ah! I don't have to throw everything I've been through in the past away. I've spent years of my life trying to make this person happy and there have been good times. Yes, there's been a lot of bad times, but there's been some good times too. They're not all that bad. And we don't want to feel like we've just thrown away years of our lives. Like what we think was the best of us because we put our best foot forward to try and be loved and be acknowledged and get this life that we wanted. And then we realize, oh my gosh, it's fake. It's not going to happen. And someone's trying to give you advice on how to get out of it. And you're thinking, uh, this doesn't work like that. Clearly, you know nothing. And then you feel like my five-year-old who's like, mom, what's this? Knows. What's your name? Wait, wait, start over. Mom, what's your name? Sarah. What's this? Knows. What's this? Ha ha ha, Sarah knows nothing. And you're thinking, yeah, I know nothing. Wow, thanks for the advice. And you're feeling like you know nothing because if you knew something, you'd feel worthy, you'd feel capable, you'd feel good enough, you'd feel like you could take the advice and run with it and your whole life would transform like that and everything would be better and you'd be like a fairy tale Disneyland movie. But it's not. And so you find that you're looking for a solution to the problem. And someone's giving you advice because they see that you've got a problem and they're like, well, here's the little paper, the solution, little envelope, just open it up, read it and do what it says. And you're thinking, okay, <laughs> yay, thanks. And you're not connected with the power that you have within you because the experience of receiving advice is the experience of, I have the power and you don't. I have the key. Let me give it to you. Just put it in, turn it, unlock it, and then go live your life free from this problem. And you've You've already tried it. You've already experienced that. But the problem with advice is that is coming from outside of you, from someone else to you. And that's also the source of the trauma that you've experienced. Someone else telling you something, you doing it, and it turning out a way that didn't feel good or a way that caused more pain. So someone else, something outside of you caused a change with something within you and it hurt. So advice is supposed to be something outside of you coming into you and making you feel better. 
And when it doesn't, it's the same connection energetically as the experience of how the trauma was created in the first place. True transformation, I always say this, begins within. That cycle of it coming from outside of you into you is the same cycle and pattern that we get stuck in when we're stuck in the the cycle of trauma and the cycle of the experience of the pain that we're ready and dying and desperate to be free from. It has to be a different pattern if you're going to have a different experience with it. That's why advice doesn't work majority of the time. You can give people advice like you should go no contact and they're like, yeah, good advice. You know, I've tried blocking them a million times in the past and I did. I went three days no contact. How were you doing during those three days? All I thought about was unblocking them to see if they've messaged me. All I thought about was messaging when like, oh, so who are you with now? That's all I thought about. I became obsessed with it, right? (laughs) Because inner transformation needs to occur. So to break the cycle and the pattern, to receive true healing and transformation, it can't come from outside of you and come into you. That's been the source of the pain. It has to come from within you has to come from within your heart, your mind, and be in alignment with you. You've had the experience of knowing what someone should do, but knowing it's going to blow up and they're going to reject it if you tell them. And having it be their idea. Let's say you wanted to go to, let's make this easy. Say you wanted to go get Mexican for dinner and someone's like hey where do you want to go eat and you say oh I really let's go get Mexican no I just had Mexican like last last month I'm not in the mood for Mexican (laughs) and also okay well that was what I was going to propose that was my advice is let's get Mexican food tonight no I don't want it okay you've also had the experience of being open and going I don't know you know what do you feel like I've heard this really good reviews about this restaurant is really good and Uh, yeah, you know, I'm not sure. What about this? So, and being open to it and letting them, you know what? Let's go to that Mexican restaurant. That actually does sound really good. It's been a while since I've had Mexican. You want to go? Sure. Yeah. And there's a big difference when it comes from within and when it's someone else's idea. When your mind goes, I know, let's go here. Let's do this. All I'm, I'm just going to do this. It's a very different experience than you need to do this. You should do this. If I were you, I would, because your mind is thinking, well, you're not me. So good for you. You're not me. I am me and you are you. So thank you. But when you have the experience of deeply connecting within and your own subconscious mind going, here's the answer. Here's what you need to do. Hey, just do this. And it comes from within you. It leaves you feeling empowered. It leaves you feeling energized. It leaves you feeling excited. It leaves you feeling motivated. It leaves you feeling like, yes, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. And if there's more there that you need to work through, remove through, that is where deeply connecting within with your unconscious mind, with what's going on within you, when it comes from in and goes out, it truly allows you to transform and break free. When it comes from out to in, it's the same experience of the emotional and energetic block that caused the trauma in the first place. So that is why most people don't like to receive advice, but they think that that's what they need to break free. So just wanted to share this with you and just have you possibly experience what the difference is. You're not looking for advice. You're looking for a breakthrough. You're looking for emotional freedom. You're looking for power. You're looking for the control. You're looking for that. This is what I need for me. And when it comes from outside of you, it feels like the word that came up for me in a lot of my healing work that I've done is penetration. And that was on multi levels. The, the, of penetration was I felt like when someone was trying to give me advice, I felt like I was being penetrated and that had to do with a lot of other traumas I've experienced in the past. And so it felt like a rejection. And I've actually worked with people who've had come to me because they've been in relationships and partnerships with new people now, but still experience pain with different experiences 
experiences of that and their mind was connecting it sometimes it's to a particular phrase sometimes to it's a particular word or energy or experience that they had that feels like rejection and we our mind goes no get that out of here get that away and it leaves us feeling disempowered so the experience of empowerment embodiment breakthrough f- true freedom and transformation is when you experience it coming from within you and extending outward instead of out to in. A very, very different experience. So that is why you often get pissed off when you experience hearing or receiving advice because it leaves you in a state of, you don't get it, you think I'm stupid, you think I can't figure this out on my own, and the experience of pain, perhaps from projection or uh, whatever else is going on, versus it coming from within it being your idea, it being one that lights you up and expands you and opens you to new possibilities, new opportunities, new ideas, and new breakthroughs. And that's what sets you free from the connection from the emotional pain that you've experienced. So if you find that you're in a state where you're looking for advice, understand what you're truly looking for is is emotional empowerment, is to feel powerful, to feel in control, to feel worthy, to feel able, and to feel capable. And that has to come from within you because sometimes it feels like, yeah, that would be nice, but the advice you receive seems too far off. You can't take that advice into implementation or consideration until you're 10 steps further down the road. They're giving you advice that will work for you when you're at step 10 and you're stuck at step one. So you feel like, yeah, great, thanks. That doesn't help at all. And you're ready for something that will help and can help and does help now in this moment where you are. And only your unconscious mind knows what that is based upon what you've been through in the past. Nobody else knows. No one else can get inside your mind. But when you're inside there and you're connected at the core and the very root of what's going on, your mind will go, here's what you need to do. And you'll think, my God. Wow, thank you. And it's like this inner transformation. That's why that's why I say it's called inner transformation. It's not outward or external. It has to come from within and then grow and expand. So if you've been experiencing looking for advice, know that that's what may be going on when you experience it not working. And a lot of people will experience frustration with that. Naturally, you want something that does work. So the fastest, most powerful and effective thing that does work is deeply connecting internally and unconsciously, getting to the core and the root of what's going on within you. So that's that's what I do when I work with people one-to-one. We utilize the power for you of your unconscious mind so you can experience your own transformation and breakthrough. It's not an advice session because otherwise it, let's just call it what it is, a rejection session. And you've experienced enough of that in the past, especially if you lived with emotional abusers, manipulators, you've gone through narcissistic relationships, you're done. You're tired. You don't want any more rejection sessions rejection sessions. (laughs) You want breakthrough sessions. You want emotional freedom. You want to feel and know and truly believe and embody like I am enough. F you. That's you. That's how you feel about you. That is nothing to do with me. So that is my insight. My two cents on advice. (laughs) You take it and do with it what you will. Uh, You can find more information in the link in my bio. I always say that because it's it's got the link tree account and there's just all the information is there. It's it's probably the the best resource and place to go if you want to go even further in this. So until we meet again, probably tomorrow, same time, same place. I love you guys and sending you all so much love and I will see you soon. Bye for now.